the tuba is in the city. The largest and lowest pitched brass instrument is making its debut in the arms of Avital Handler, the only female tuba player in Israel and one of the few female tuba soloists in the world. I think that if I were to play the violin, I would be one of many. I like being unique. Uh, and so, uh, in a way, I, I guess the instrument chose me and not necessarily I chose the instrument. A musician often on tours abroad, but also a mother of three, with a fourth on the way, Avital has always been determined to choose the non-conformist way. It was also very uh, different than my sister. My sister played the flute. And so uh, it was just, you know, you don't want to be like your sister. All the guys hang out with the brass and I'm like, I want to play the tuba. And so they said, all right, you're so insistent, we're going to let you play, but you won't be able to because it's not for girls. Although considered a manly and heavy instrument, requiring a big lung capacity, Avital fell in love with its mellow sound. Slowly but surely, she started to go to music camps and eventually to a musical high school in Jerusalem. From there, it was a short way to the Israeli Army's band, to Boston University and the prestigious Manhattan School of Music. By the way, moving a 22 kilo instrument across the world is quite the investment. The very first time I flew to the States, uh, when I, I uh, moved to Boston, I needed to buy a chair for the tuba because uh, I didn't have a flight case at the time. And so the tuba sat right next to me. With a musician's irregular routine, Avital juggles between a mother's schedule and intensive rehearsals and concerts as she tries to give her children a taste of the tuba's unique melody. It's part of their regular routine. It's at 8 o'clock at night, I usually practice, I get my practice time in. They don't wake up, it's part of their usual routine. And they're used to the sounds. The tuba has a very mellow sound, a very beautiful sound, so they're used to that. Over her 25-year-long career, she has become the principal tuba player of the Israeli Opera Orchestra and part of the Israeli Brass Quintet, the only female in that group as well. Frequently serving as the bass of the brass section, Avital's goal is to give her tuba the front stage she believes it deserves in a new and unprecedented tuba solo album. My dream was really to have something of mine that I can say is my own. It's like another baby for me because it took a while. Avital's fifth child, which was presented to the world in her latest concert, is a reflection of her life's experiences, an artist, a mother, and a pioneering woman with extraordinary brass talent.